If you've watched many videos on YouTube about steak, you have probably heard of A5 Wagyu. The, the crowning achievement of all beef that's out there. It is, it's a steak so marveled with flavorful fat that it just doesn't even look or taste like any steak you've tried before. A hallmark of the A5 Wagyu is the fact that it is really expensive. If you can find it for $100 a pound, you are getting a crazy good deal. So it makes sense that you might not be buying this for every meal. I have talked to several people who said they wanted to get one to try it as an experiment, maybe go in on one with a bunch of friends, but they were worried that they would ruin it. So today we're going to explain the easiest way to cook an A5 steak without worrying about ruining it. First, I'm going to take our regular steak. And when I say regular, it's actually a prime grade, so it's still pretty good. And I'm just gonna cook it normal way in a pan on the stove. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of my supporters on Patreon. Couldn't do this without you. If you're interested in joining my Patreon, the link for that is down in the description. As you can see, we got an excellent crust and a medium rare interior, and this steak isn't even very thick. So what happens if you do cook Wagyu the same as Prime? What's gonna work for a regular steak is not going to work for this A5. Most people are gonna judge how long it takes to cook their steak by looking at the color or feeling the texture of it to see what's changed. These pieces of the regular steak and the Wagyu steak look nothing alike. Their texture poking them is completely different. Both of these are extremely rare in the center, but they don't look anything alike. Let's see what they look like if they're both well done. At this point, the normal and A5 are cooked to medium well to well done. And again, you can see they don't look the same. They also don't feel the same. If you tried to cook the A5 steak the way you'd cook a normal one, it probably wouldn't turn out well. And even if you got it cooked just right, you'd have a really hard time telling because it wouldn't look the same and it wouldn't feel the same, so all of your normal metrics wouldn't work very well. Additionally, an A5 steak is super rich. You don't want a steak this size all to yourself. So the best way to do it is to grab a couple friends. Slice the steak up into strips, maybe an inch or two long and half an inch wide. Look, I got some friends. So we've got the cast iron. You don't need to use cast iron. We've just got our pans. You can use whatever frying pans you've got. They're heating up. You don't need to add any oil. You don't need to add the garlic and the rosemary and the butter the way I was doing it with the other steak. You can just have the pans and get them hot. I've got the steak all sliced up. We've got salt, pepper, and garlic available. Everyone can choose what they want. I highly recommend at least salt. So you're just gonna take a piece of the steak, add however much seasoning you want, Put it in the pan, cook it until you think it looks good, and then you can try it, and if it needed more, you can cook it more. If the next time you're like, it needs a little bit less time, go a little bit less time. And that way, at the very worst case, all you ruined is like one little, little strip piece. The rest of it, it's all good. Make sense? Any questions? Nope. Nope. Fantastic.
crispy, you may have left it a little too long. I mean, it's good though. If, if the inside, okay. Then that's the thing. That's the whole purpose with this is like, you make it how you want. I, I, you see what it looks like, right. it is. So the nice thing is that like, if you want it to be like cooked well all the way through, great, cook it like that. If you want it just wow, this time I want a little bit less, you can just do a tiny bit of time. Eric is currently going for a very well done outside, but the heat in that pan is really high, so it might still be rare on the inside. Hard to tell. Tyler, of all the fatty pieces, that one is the fattiest, I think. So Perfect. You might want to let that one go until it's like crispy bacon texture. It's good. It's not the best mix, so it's fine, but it's not like great. There you have it, how to not ruin an A5 Wagyu steak. These are fancy.